Uh, last week I've talked about compression, how compression works, and before diving into what setting to use when encoding, how to encode properly, I will talk about formats. So if you haven't checked yet compression, you can still click on the link here and see what compre how compression works, and today I'll be talking about formats, what formats were what, or in which contexts. Hi everyone, Xavier from XM Studio, and today, as said, I will talk about formats. So, before diving into what formats does what and, and so on, I'd like just to clarify something for you. When you encode a video, what you're doing is you're taking your video, you're processing it into something perhaps lighter, compressed, or more adapted for your workflow, and to do that, you have sort of a toolbox that is your codec. Your codec is an algorithm, a number of rules that your, your computer will apply to the video in order to achieve what you want. And once that's done, you have to put that in a file. And that's where the container appears. And all that gives you more or less a format. So it's a bit confused because of many people using it in many different ways and you can get confused. But to be sure, I'm going to give you examples. That's perhaps the best. So, talking about formats, there are many formats and there is no specific rule in what to use for what, but I can give you some hints here. Uh, here. And in order to do so, I've simply opened my uh, Adobe Media Encoder and taken the list of formats that is available on my computer. You might have some more if you're using some other software with some more codecs. I'm thinking especially for Mac users. One very famous codec, when I started video, I started with HDV cameras, so perhaps you remember with the small tapes uh, or magnetic tapes. Well, that was encoding video in MP2, uh, MPEG2. That was good at the time, and I think it's still used for DVDs. Um, that was that was the DVD format, and it was fairly good. It was the first evolution of MP1, of course, and well, it was good at the time. But I think right now, except you, if you have specifics. Um, requirement for your project or your workflow, I would not recommend it anymore. They made an evolution, one more, that is the MP4 that perhaps you know very well. It's the most famous format, I'd say along with the MOV, the MP4 is quite famous. And to be more specific, MP4 is actually a toolbox that the software designer can use the way he wants. What's the most, fa the most famous part of this toolbox is a small piece that is called H.264 and that is the most spread it out um, codec actually. So H.264 is really the format I recommend if you're working in HD because it's quite efficient and also if you want to stream it on YouTube or so whatsoever, YouTube loves H.264. So that would be the way to go if you're working with HD. I totally recommend it. And if you're working with Ultra HD with 4K video or even more, the new version of it, the H.265, uh, it's not super efficient for lower quality video. I think for HD it's giving, me, giving more or less the same result, but it's really good for 4K video. So H.265 is the next format you'll be hearing about. Well, on the other side you have the MOV, the MOV, the QuickTime format that is very famous for Mac users. And even though I don't know much more about it, uh, well, I think it's pretty equivalent. Well, I know MOV is also an extension, a container, as I said before, since, for instance, my DSLR is giving me H.264 in an MOV container. On, on Mac, actually, I know more about ProRes. ProRes is, well, the Pro formats for Mac users. It's quite famous. You have a lot of declination of it. You have the ProRes LT Lite, uh, that is only, I think, 20 megabytes per second. That is mostly for network streaming or very shitty computers and you have the ProRes 444 that is non-compressed ProRes and that's really good quality so you have a lot of declination of it. And on the other side, uh, the symmetric version on PC, you have the Avid, um, the NX HD, uh, that is the Pro format for uh, non-Mac users. Avid offers for free it's codec, so you can download it and install it, and that can be useful if you want to stream on, for instance, HyperDeck and you need to encode a video and not record it. Too. But check my video about the HyperDeck if you need the trick. What else? 
And yes, uh, the final very famous pro format is uh, RAW. Cinema DNG, for instance, is the, um, is the open source uh, codec from Adobe that is, for instance, used on Blackmagic cinema cameras or on Magic Lantern, Cinema DNG, and other RAW formats such as the uh, .R3D from RED and so on, offers you more settings, more fine-tuning in post. Um, and finally, what's quite famous also is the AV, that was the non-compressed format from uh, Microsoft. And also there are some declination of it with compression. I would not recommend that, uh, that. I would only recommend AV, for instance, if you're working with Adobe After Effects. If you're exporting your final work, your composition, AV, well, you won't lose any quality and also offers you to keep your alpha channel that will keep all your transparency information. So that's it about the most famous formats. And what's also an option for you, for instance, you can have BMP, JPEG, PNG, TFF, TIFF, I don't know how to say that in English, uh, and uh, Targa or whatsoever. Those are uh, image sequences that might be used by pros, perhaps not if you're uh, an amateur or even not in a super professional workflow or animation workflow, I'd say, depending on you, you choose. Um, and finally, you have some exotic stuff like FLV, F4V that are for the web. I would not recommend it uh, unless you're coding for Flash, and even Flash is now a bit uh, in, in the past. Okay, I hope I made my point. Uh, if I was a bit confused, that is an option in English. French, I think, was better. Uh, you can still ask me a question in the comments or learn French and check the French version of it. And uh, well, otherwise, I invite you to subscribe for next week's video and share, like, uh, join me on Facebook and the usual. See you next week.